In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly crop a folder of images to order skinny minis in HH Studio. This process relies on the Lightroom export for skinny minis that you can download from the h, &H website. In a previous video, I've shown you how to load that preset. So let's get started. To start, I'm going to select all my images in my Lightroom library that I want to crop. I'll come to my Develop module and then go to my Crop tool. On the h, &H website, I can see the size of my skinny minis are 1 and 8 inches by 2 and 3 quarters inches. So when I'm in Lightroom, I want to enter in a custom crop. And 1 and an eighth is actually 1.125 by 2.75. That's the aspect ratio. I'll choose OK. That's going to crop that first image to that aspect ratio. Next, I'm going to press Sync. Make sure that I'm only syncing the crop settings and press Synchronize. Once I've done that, I can come in and unselect all the images and tweak the crop on each image. Once I have my cropping the way I like it, I'm going to select all my images, right click, choose export, and then export again. Select my skinny mini option. You'll see this puts them automatically into a subfolder of the root where the images are called skinny minis. I'm not going to change any of my file naming. I'm going to save my files at as, out as an sRGB JPEG at 100%. I'm going to resize them automatically to 1.125 inches on the short inch edge at 300 pixels an inch, and I'm going to include all my metadata. I can also get to this very quickly by just right-clicking, export, and then choose this skinny mini option over here on the export. We can see those will export out very quickly. When we bring over our folder where our images have been exported to, we can see our new Square Mini Lightroom folder. And inside here are all the images to order from in HH Studio. Once I've exported my files, it's very easy to reset my crop. Come back into my Develop module, select all the images, come to my Crop tool, change the aspect ratio back to original and synchronize those settings across the whole folder and I'm done.